Texas Congressman Will Hurd joins me now. He is in Washington. His district covers more of the border than any other member of Congress. And Congressman, thanks for the courage and leadership to come on this program today when we are basically showing uh, right up front and personal what is going on here. Why can't Congress change these laws? Well, Maria, one, I'm, I'm glad you're there and you're showing what's happening along the border. It, it, it is indeed a crisis. We all know last month 103,000 people came here illegally. To give your viewers some context for that number, all of last year it was 400,000 people that came in. And, and I really appreciate you highlighting what the actual Border Patrol agents are dealing with and how they're handling uh, their job with care. They often get vilified in, in, the, in the news and, and in their communities for, for what they're doing, um, but they're trying to, to, to protect our borders, but they're also uh, treating people kindly. Um, this is a multifactorial problem. Right? And yes, there are some things Congress can do. There are also some things that we can fix right now within DHS. We also got to be addressing root causes. Uh, the root causes, the reason the majority of these people are coming from the Northern Triangle, that's El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, is because of violence and lack of economic opportunities there. Uh, you know my background. I spent nine and a half years as an undercover officer in the CIA. Um, my, my hope is that we should stop this problem before it actually gets to our doorstep. Uh, we should be increasing the amount of intelligence on this kingpin human smugglers that are bringing people here. It is very hard to get from Tegucigalpa uh, to El Paso. And the people that are, that are facilitating yeah. this travel, the reason we're seeing more people um, coming is because the kingpin smugglers are, are learning how to do this even better. Right? So we need to be collecting intelligence on them, stopping it, working with those agencies there. I think there should be a special representative um, in the State Department that works with the Northern Triangle. This is, would be a senior ambassador. That that work. This is a problem not just for the U.S. and Mexico. This is a problem for all of the Western Hemisphere. Where is the Organization of American States? Where is the International Development Bank on helping to solve these problems? These are things that we can be doing there on the ground, right? Yeah, you're but, seeing you're yeah. seeing the you're seeing the impact that these Border Patrol agents have. And and Lindsey Graham in his earlier statement showed how you know it's only 90 percent, 10 percent, 10 to 14 percent of people that apply for asylum actually only get asylum. But we shouldn't be treating everybody who shows up at the border as an asylum seeker. Um, all of them are not cr That's claiming right. credible fear. Why, why are the men and women in Border Patrol and ICE being told to handle everybody as if they are an asylum seeker? These have something called expedited removal. And if you're trying to sneak in our country, you should be. And you had three opportunities to apply for asylum. Uh, th that is, your, your motivations yeah. are not pure, and you should be deported immediately. Uh, these are some of the tweaks that could, that could happen um, right now um, to make sure the men and women in Border Patrol and ICE and CBP um, have, uh, you know, are able to continue to do their jobs. Yeah, but Congressman, just to be clear and with all due respect, people are blaming you and your colleagues. Sure. I, I, mean, I spoke with the mayor of, of El Paso yesterday, yeah. uh, the Border Patrol agents. They need a change in these laws so that all of these people would not be coming here saying, yes, I'm seeking political asylum. I mean, a woman I spoke uh, with yesterday said, well, right. I really just want really better opportunities for my daughter, so I decided to come. You know, right. why not go the legal way? We have a structure in place to come to this sure. country and, and, and become an American. American citizen legally, but instead they're doing it and sneaking through. And people are well, blaming Maria. you and your colleagues. Right. What are you going to do right. about it? Well, like I said, I, I have legislation that's already out there to, to help uh, make sure Border Patrol is getting paid. I've proposed legislation on, on dealing with the, the asylum fix. Um, this is something that Speaker Pelosi is going to have to bring to the floor to get changed. But there are things that could happen right now. Why did Border Patrol spend 78,000 man hours in um, hospitals, right, dealing with people? Uh, they should be able yeah. to use um, private subcontractors to do that. I don't want a Border Patrol officer um, changing a diaper or making a sandwich. I want them actually on the border. And so for every time you see those people that are getting apprehended and basically surrendering uh, to Border Patrol, how many people are, are, are sneaking in um, because our resources are overwhelmed? I want to make sure that we're not pulling customs officers um, off the bridge um, so that they can order to facilitate the movement of, of good traffic back and forth um, through this country. So, so yes, I, I think there should be an asylum fix. Um, and that's something, again, Again, if you had yeah. three opportunities to do it, um, you shouldn't. And so this is something that there's plenty of us that are trying to work towards this. Um, but ultimately, it's not our decision. This is going to be the decision of, of Speaker Pelosi uh, to bring something to the floor well, to tweak some of those pieces.
Yeah, I think you make a really good point. By the way, on the on the idea of food and making a sandwich, when I spoke with some of the migrants yesterday, the last time they ate was a day and a half ago. I mean, they haven't eaten sure. anything. They they need everything. They're putting their kids in such an incredibly dangerous situation mm -hmm. by having their kids cross. You mentioned Nancy Pelosi. All we hear out of the Democrats is they want President Trump's tax returns. They want to investigate more on the sure. Mueller report. All this stuff. And, and you don't hear a peep out of them about the crisis going on at the border. Next week, you've got William Barr testifying in front of the judiciary. Uh, what's the most important question you're going to ask? Is it going to be all about the Mueller report? Or, 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 you know, what, what are you expecting to hear from William Barr? Real quick. Well, what do we expect from Mullen Barr? I think we've seen it. You know, um, he's going to give the full unredacted report to Judiciary and the Intelligence com Committees. Um, I've, I'm on the Intelligence Committee. Um, I'll hear what he has to say. Um, what I want to be seeing is how are we developing a counter disinformation strategy to deal with the Russians, right? You know, we know it, this is an agreement between Republicans and Democrats. The Russians tried to influence our elections. We're seeing them doing that in other places. Well, what are we going to be doing in order to try to stop that? But I agree with you, Maria. 103,000 people coming into our country illegally um, almost every month is a real crisis. It's a real problem. We should be, this, these are some of the, these is the conversation we, we should be having up here in Washington, D.C. right now. Yeah, we're not hearing about it. And now we see that immigration is becoming very fast, becoming the number one issue for the American people going into 2020. We're going to be watching you and your colleagues to see what's done about this, because this is truly horrible mm -hmm. to see these children, M the way M that they're Maria, being treated um, uh, by their every... families, forcing them over right. the border illegally. All right, Maria, I'm Real down quick, there almost sir, every weekend. I'm, I'm almost down there every weekend seeing this. And the, the tax this is adding, the, 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 the impact this is having on the men and women that are trying to keep us safe, uh, yeah. we have to factor that into as well. All right.